Hello everybody, this is Matt Vogt here with another Young Adults Catholic video. Today in the Easter season and in the Easter spirit, still in the Easter octave, we are today talking about something that's kind of overlooked and it's this Easter decision. This decision we have when we mess up big time in our lives. And this is seen in two different stories during the Passion story. One ends well, one ends poorly. So the first one is Peter. One of the closest disciples to Jesus, one of the closest three friends of Jesus, makes a critical mistake. He says, I will die with you, Jesus. I will go wherever you go. And he says, before the cock crows, you will deny me three times when he is captured and run away. Peter says, no, right? Denies God that that won't happen. And he does. He denies Jesus three different times, knowing Jesus to three different groups of people. And there's this profound verse and it says, you can just picture Jesus looking at Peter, feeling that disappointment in his friend, letting him down as he denies him for the third time. Jesus is led away and Peter goes away and cries bitterly. Next up, we have the disciple Judas, who also a very terrible, slightly worse sin, hands Jesus over to be crucified. Now there is some scholar speculation that Judas did this to uh, kind of force Jesus' hand and make him reveal his glory so other, everyone would believe he is God. However, first off, this is not God's plan. And two, he still handed Jesus over. This is, this is a classic example of when we try to tell God how we should live God's life, God's plan in our lives, and that's just an incorrect way to look at it. So Jesus, Judas hands him over, doesn't even take the cash, and kisses him in front of everyone as he's led away. He is working with the other side to make sure Jesus is brought into custody, and this ultimately leads to Jesus' crucifixion death. But the thing that we're highlighting today is not the sins, the big mistakes. We are instead talking about the way of reacting to these sins. Some of us have done some bad things, myself included. We've made some bad mistakes. And it's easy to feel guilty or feel like crap, but it's in that guilt and in that shame and in that regret that we can make a very big and profound decision to either a turn from our ways and come closer to god accept god's help and assistance and recognize that we are indeed broken and not perfect or we can try and rely on ourselves and fall into despair and think that this life is worthy of being lived without god peter despite denying god the night he is turned over and the day before he dies, becomes one of the greatest popes. He comes to Jesus and there's that profound line, do you love me, do you love me, do you love me? He asks Peter three different times in three different ways and Peter responds, I do. Peter comes back to Jesus with that shame, with that regret, but he seeks to be reconciled. Judas, on the other hand, tries to figure it out himself. He is in so much despair, and instead of turning to Jesus and saying, I'm so sorry, what can I do? Or asking for forgiveness and moving on, he lets that discouragement and despair envelop him to the point of taking his own life. The question isn't, are we going to mess up? We're all sinners. Since our father and mother, Adam and Eve, committed sin, we're all sinners. The question is, how will we respond, especially during this Easter season? Will we let it continue to envelop us to the point of despair or will we become something greater by allowing God to work into our lives, accepting that we cannot live without his help, without his grace, without his mercy, accepting the fact that we are broken, but yet beautiful people. Because God loves us so much. He doesn't want sin, but he's willing to take one of the worst things that ever happened to humanity, us killing his only son, and used it to save all our souls. 